Hey, nice to hear you, Talitha, and I'm glad uh, that we are having some sunshine today. I think it's going to lift everyone's spirits to have it right before we talk about rain chances. So we are looking at those shower and thunderstorm possibilities as we get you into your Thursday. Most of this is overnight, and we're looking at those satellite imagery showing you that we've got one system off over the northeast, another one building again across the southeast into areas of Nashville and Birmingham. So. We are done with the wind for the most part. It has been a bit gusty still in the mountains today, and we've got a warm breeze that's taking us into the mid and upper 60s, but not as warm as yesterday. We were in the 70s yesterday. Right now we're at 60 degrees in Greensboro, 63 in Burlington, and we've got you at 61 in Martinsville, 55 in Galax. So what can we expect? Well, those winds, they're still on the breezy side, but not as gusty. And we've got gusts in the 16 mile an hour range. That's better than the 30 to 40 we were running yesterday. And in some spots, you made it to 51 miles an hour, like up at Jefferson. Highs yesterday at 74 with 47 for morning lows and typical highs are in the low 70s. So we are touch below normal tomorrow. Also a little below normal as we usher in rain chances. Let's take a quick look at your seven, your forecast first. 55 degrees as we take a look in the mountains right now. We'll warm to 57 in the next few hours to near 60 before we cool you off and bring rain chances way up by overnight, a rain chance of 80%. And we've got 61 degrees in the foothills and temperatures there today at 66, 67 by later this afternoon with that warm, mild west-southwest wind, but it's still a cooler air mass compared to where we've been. So expecting those temperatures to run just below normal. Rain chances also coming up for everyone overnight as we see those shower opportunities. Our hour-by-hour -hour forecast is fairly impressive with the waves of rain that could roll in starting at around 2 a.m. in the mountains. Those heavier showers building between 7 to 8 a.m. across the triad and the foothills and then some heavier pockets might move through the southern Piedmont too. It's late afternoon and evening as we get you into about five six o'clock that we may want to start watching for our severe weather apps to start lighting up on our, our phones and being aware of radar and where those storms may be forming. Some of these storms may become severe. An isolated storm could bring in some damaging winds. And this is the kind of storm activity that we might see produce some winds above 60 miles an hour. Right now, we're in that marginal risk area. So typically, it means a lesser threat in terms of numerous thunderstorms. We'd expect one or two to pop to severe levels. And that's Winston-Salem, Greensboro, down through the southern Piedmont. Now included is the mountain area. Yesterday, you were out of that threat, so this may shift a little bit more. We could be put in the slight risk area if things change even more. And this week, we've got those temperatures out there in the 60s with 70s on the back edge of the next round of rain, which is tomorrow. So a rain chance of 90% Thursday, and then we bring in the shower chances, too, as we look ahead. Here's your seven-day forecast. We've got you at 67 degrees on your Wednesday, and we do warm you up. We see sunshine in between our rain opportunities, and we're going to end on a nice note. Hopefully, after we get through some morning rain on Sunday, you'll see more sunshine. And then we kick off next week with some low to mid-60s. Pretty great April weather. Looking forward to that. Thank you so much.